social experiment time? I think so. This is like the behind the scenes, I guess. They'll probably put it in the video. I don't know. I need to get like clothes on. <laughs> don't let me drown. Don't let me drown. <laughs> the trigger warning warning in this video i talk about the festive season i talk about you know very sensitive subjects surrounding consent and if this may trigger you feel free to click on a different video find something fun to watch makeup and clothes are not consent today's video we're diving into that subject of London. <laughs> Fucking lights everywhere. Is it more ironic to film here or just stupid? I don't know. <laughs> if you don't know where I am, um, look in the background. If not, I'll point it out on the screen now. My back hurts too and sat in front of New Scotland Yard. Um, <laughs> Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name's Lydia and to those of you who don't know, this is a voiceover. The audio from yesterday when I went out filming this just isn't great, but I also don't have the motivation right now to go and film and refilm everything that I said. So there's going to be clips where I'm actually talking in the clip and the rest is going to be voiceover. So yes, you get me, a day later, who is quite emotional right now, doing a voiceover for a video that I filmed yesterday with no script. This is going to be interesting and I hope you guys appreciate the fact that this is more awkward for me than it is you. Let me assure you. Literally no one gives a fuck what I say or what I do because I'm irrelevant and like, we all knew that I was irrelevant but <laughs> there's something about... This video is about consent and the seasons and all that actually. This is a subject I don't know how to address properly. The idea this video for me was is well, I was inspired by Chloe's last video on Dissociated before she integrated it into the system. Not my channel, Dissociated. You know, her video really inspired me to get up and make this video by going OTT on the eye makeup that like I literally never had my makeup this dark. Like I used to. I don't know when I used to go out drinking. I used to. Alcohol is not permission. Sex is the last thing on my mind. Believe me, I don't want it. I have no interest in it. Me being like that when I was drunk, my partner obviously knew like no, she is just very drunk. And I was. But th there's a point here. Just because someone's drunk, dressed up, wearing makeup, out in public, wearing short skirts, wearing dresses, doing whatever, whether they are drunk or not, you do not have, if you do not have that person's permission, it's not consent. Clothes, makeup, what skirt, alcohol, being drunk is not consent. If a person is not capable of giving consent, you do not have that person's permission. Do not have a right to lay a finger on that person. You cannot use alcohol as an excuse. It's the same as if you were like drunk driving. You have to take responsibility for it. You was drinking, you drove. Why is it any different when it comes to having sex? And there's an inability to give consent. Like if someone's drunk, they are unable to give you consent. Which is why I think it's so fucked that people got on night out just to get fucking sex. Like you can't consent. <laughs> like it you have to have the capacity to consent. Um, irony in filming it here, but uh, people who know my story will know why the fucking irony is here. Do you have their permission to lay a finger on them? No. If a person has makeup on, does that give you permission to touch them? No. One question that I get, I get asked a lot, and that's with makeup, without makeup, just walking around. And what gets me that? is yeah they're asking how old I am which 
in one way is good, you know, they know that I am illegally aged. But the danger then is when they lose interest and they're like, that's sketchy as fuck. Because if I had answered 15, 14, what could have happened? Like, it's a, do it, don't ask these questions to people you don't know. Please think before you ask, before you do. I don't really know thing about doing YouTube. People don't realise it, but people are more likely to approach you and be like, oh, what are you doing? How old are you? You know, it's not okay. I never said it was okay. But people do it. People think it's okay, but it's not. This way. Think of roles reversed here a bit. Imagine me walking up to someone and offering them a drink. Never met them before. Don't know how old you are. And you know, they could basically be anybody. It's wrong and it's fucked up. So, why in the reversed roles of someone who I don't know offering me a drink? Is me saying no a bad thing? I feel like I have to make this video. I don't really. I've never addressed it. But I did, and then I took the video down. Because I just. The comments were triggering. Like. Get some quiet and I'll talk. Quiet in Central London. Yeah, Lydia, it's gonna happen. Hey, we're filming around here is to not get arrested. I don't know what I'd get arrested for. At least it's a well lit <laughs> underpants. My shoes aren't built for it, but hey, I can't be asked to put shoelaces back in shoes. What I do know is it's nice and quiet here. I used to come and film here all the time because I used to love how just chill it is by the water. I used to spend, like when I lived in Lancashire, I used to spend so much time by the water. I used to love going to like parks and bridges and everything like that. Also, that was the bridge I didn't want to cross, but I did, I did. I just, it's weird, I just don't feel safe crossing them at the moment. Oh, she was drunk. Or, oh, I was drunk too, it doesn't matter. Yes, it does. It's potentially emotionally scarring for someone. And it's horrible. Like, consent is required by law. It doesn't matter on your state. It, it, I can't stress it enough. Clothes, makeup, costumes, Halloween, Christmas, drugs, alcohol, they're not an excuse to unconsensually touch somebody in any way, shape, or form. It's just not okay, and it never will be. Also, I was over by Westminster, which is why there was so much police over the activity over there. Um, in case you don't know, the whole Brexit thing is going on at the moment, and I don't really care for it. I'm not really from a site in London. Wow. Um, this is where I am. It's South Bank Westminster Bridge. Um, what I wanted to say. I literally walked so just to say one thing. Personal safety is obviously important and there are some things you can do to help yourself if you are going out and getting drunk and while you shouldn't have to protect yourself from other people's illegalities and fucking illegal thoughts and wanting to hurt or harm you. There are some things you can do. You can buy these drink kits that can test to see if your drink has been spiked, refeed, or whatever you want to call it. There are things you can do to make sure the drugs you're using are safe and not, you know, covered in fucking red hit all, you know? Yeah, giving safety advice on a bridge. Oh, trying to avoid triggering myself, but uh, there's like, I don't think I can avoid it. Like, I'm, I'm gonna have to go under. So yeah, now my, um, now my phone's dead and now the, I have had enough of walking in shoes and literally hate myself enough to want to go home. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk along here. You get your teenage girls that will sit in a park and drink at them. Just because they're drinking in a park does not mean you can go and harass them. <laughs> wow. That was like, 
perfect timing. Wow. Now to get a train and go home. Always make sure it's charged. So that's good, not concerned. Makeup, not concerned. Being out late, not concerned. Wearing heels, not concerned. The only word that means consent is yes. My phone's dead, so I'm getting a bus. It's due in one minute. Bus is due, but it's not here. London problem. It's like, London not here. Uh, why is the bus late? Don't let me drown Don't let me drown